like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to share a comment that Miss Latoya Luckett has recently said that has me scratching my head a little bit. I'm honestly slightly confused when it comes to your husband or your children. Who comes first? I'm going to share the clip with you. Anyone who is new and you don't know who Latoya Luckett is, well, she's a former member of Destiny's Child with Kelly Rowland, Latavia, Beyonce. Okay, she's one of the original members of Destiny's Child. Before, you know, you see only now Kelly and Michelle and Beyonce. And I want to share this clip right now of what Latoya Luckett said. Um, and understand that, no, if we get married, they don't come first. It's you. You know, once you become, become and I learned that. Like You, you said if, if, you get, if, if you get married, you'll, your husband will become priority? And then the children? That's the biblical order, right? So I try and go by the biblical order, even though that's harder said than done. And it's, I've been on the other side of that not happening mm. twice. And it's it does interfere a little bit because you're like, when you get married, right, and you become someone's wife, and then there are other things that come before you, you feel it immediately, especially when you've been waiting to be a wife and be first or, you know, feel like, you know, desired in that position. Like it can it can be it can be a thing. You can be a thing. And it's harder to say as a mom. With two kids, because nothing should come before your kids. No, I, I don't. I don't like should. You know, right, right? There's no should. You know, like everybody has what works for them, and like the Bible says this, and this may work for this, and you can believe in the Bible and then still feel this way, and like, okay, so you heard what Latoya said. You heard what Latoya said, and it's a little bit confusing. Like I hear what she's saying. I'm not sure if it's 100 percent biblical that your children come after your husband. I mean, they, they, people in the, who follow the Bible will say that, you know, God comes first, then your husband follows God, and then he, you know, rules over his wife and children. You know, he protects his wife and his children. His wife goes to her husband, and um, they follow God together and read their Bible and everything like that and try. But it also says in the Bible that a woman can be with a man who isn't even into the word of God and that he will be convinced and try to do better by her conduct. Again, trying to put the pressure on a woman to fix a man where she can help him change type of thing. But that's a whole different conversation. So I was a little bit confused and I want to hear your comments below. What do you think? Okay, it says again, do you agree? Latoya Luckett says in her next marriage, her husband will come before her kids because that's the biblical order. I've been on the other side and that's not happening twice. And it does interfere. I've heard stories of husbands being jealous of their children. Yes, your husband has needs. Yes, you need to keep the spark and the love alive. But I think it depends on, I don't know. Like there are a lot of women who put their husband and their children before them. We've heard countless stories of women who let their dreams go, who are emotionally stressed out because they're trying to please everybody and upkeep the, the, the house from falling apart and putting her knees and her emotions last. So I think it depends on the situation. Why I'm saying that is what if you have a husband who is not a good man, who is neglectful of his children and you know what if he's abusive and you're staying with him because well that's my husband and the children there are cases where they might feel you're putting a man over me now Latoya Luckett already has I believe two children she says she's not doing it twice I know that she was married before but I guess she got married two times I don't know but you know now that you have children if you get married again you're going to have, he's going to be a stepfather. He's going to be a stepfather. And um, I know from personal experience, the feeling of if your stepfather is abusive, you know, and he's staying in the home, you know, and 
you feel miserable, you feel sad, and you feel like um, it can cause a problem to the child too. But that's that's not every situation. That's not every situation. But, you know, she's been in a marriage before and she said, you know, she's she's done this and that it interfered. But I wish she would have given us more examples. I know all about traditional roles and everything like that. I've been criticized because I do still have that in me. You know, the traditional ways, you know, for example, I know y'all are going to laugh at this, but, you know, I was raised to believe that the man gets the biggest piece of the meat, you know, now um, this, you know. (laughs) <laughs> we've heard this before we've heard it before um people change but it, it was ingrained in my mind and i still feel that way to be honest with you you know i just can't help that you know it's not that serious to me it's just a piece of a chicken or meat or whatever you know i'm gonna get a chicken breast too but you know a man has his diet is different than us he has to eat more he de- his body demands more carbs and calories that's just a fact i was also raised that you're supposed to make your man's plate and i believe in that i do um you know i make the meal bring him his food I don't think it's that serious. It's not abusive. It's if you love him and he loves you, then you would be happy to do it. I can't speak for every woman, but it's just not that serious to me. Something like that. I'm bringing my man his food, you know, that I have put my love into. And that's what I grew up seeing. And that's what I believe in. So what do you think? What do you think when she said what she said? that her her children will not come first. And I'm not going to lie, when I first hear that, it triggers me for some reason. I don't have children, but it just makes me feel like, what are you like? What? <sighs> oh my goodness. It just makes me think, it makes me think about what I recently saw with a group of women on TikTok who were questioned. Someone had asked the women, would you unalive someone for your children? There were a number of women who said no. You're telling me in a life or or unaliving situation, you're not going to protect your children and take a life. You're, you're supposed to lay down your life for your children. You're supposed to be willing to take another life for your children. If your children are in danger, you are going to take another life to protect them if they are in danger. So I was shocked at the amount of women who were saying, no, it was disgusting to me. Disgusting. So, um, and when I heard Latoya say this, it did make me just wonder, like, what do you mean your children? Like, yeah, of course your husband's going to be taking care of his needs. His emotions matter. It's a relationship. It's true that a lot of your children, they're not going to always be there on average. You know, they leave on average and then it's you and your husband and you have to keep that foundation strong and your marriage strong. But um, I don't know when I hear stuff like this, I'm just wondering, are you going to emotionally neglect your children if your husband oh i want this don't go to them kids i said this f what they want i said come here do this they can wait i i believe that parents together want their children to have more than them and that they would die for their children and that their children's needs and wants comes comes first in that house you know your children Both of you should be on that page. But I understand that you also got to keep your marriage and your love alive, too. So I don't know. I don't know. Any of you into the church, is that the biblical way that your husband comes before your children, like what your children want and need and their emotional needs and physical needs and all this other stuff? I mean, if like if your husband, if it came down, if your children were sick and you got to make a choice, between your husband and your children, who you going, who, if it, let's say you got to pull the plug and it's between your husband and your children, you're going to uh, pull the plug on your children and let your husband stay alive and not your children. That's a good example I can give. So I don't know. I know that there will be a mixed um, amount of responses from this. I'm going to play what she said one more time. And I want to hear your opinions below. Um, and understand that, no, if we get married, they don't come first. It's you, you know, once you become, come, and I learned that, like, you, you said, if, if, you get, if, if you get married, you'll, your husband will become priority. 
And then the children? That's the biblical order, right? So I try and go by the biblical order, even though that's harder said than done. And it's, I've been on the other side of that not happening Mm. twice. And it's, it does interfere a little bit because you're like, when you get married, right? And you become someone's wife. And then there are other things that come before you. You feel it immediately, especially when you've been waiting to be a wife and be first or, you know, feel like, you know, desired in that position. Like it can, it can be, it can be a thing. You can be a thing. And it's harder to say as a mom with two kids, cause nothing should come before your kids. No, I, I don't, I don't like should, you know, right, right. I, there's no should, you know, like everybody has what works for them. And like the Bible says this, and this may work for this and you can believe in the Bible and then still feel this way. And okay. So leave your comments below. Again, I just feel like I'm the type of woman where my husband and my kids would both be first to me in my life. You know, I want them to be happy. I want them to be taken care of emotionally. Uh, I want my husband to be in love with me like when we first met our, our love life, our friendship. Everything is wonderful, but also my kids feel happy. They see love between mommy and daddy, giving a kiss, holding hands and stuff like that. And their needs aren't neglected at all. They don't feel like they don't matter. That's how I feel. You know, that's what I would want. So again, leave your comments below. And thank you so much for joining me. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for all notifications. So, you know, when I upload and when I'm live, thank you so much. I will be reading these comments. Bye, everybody.